Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. Today we will talk about the extraction in the georeferencing part. You can open on the right side the US tab. In the last video we finished a project preparation so we can here select the status and change it to done. We will start now the georeferencing. In the georeferencing we want to check our project setup by looking at view display topo viewer. We will change the stamp size for this demo data to large and activate the images. We go to photos, select either by control A or with shift all the photos and we activate them. In the topo view we use the mouse wheel to zoom in. And when we zoom for inside the project, we see the image content. The control points can be deactivated by viewing here on the properties. And here we have the top entry control points. We select the column and then we deselect the control points. We want to check if the project is now correctly set up in the top of view. The top of view shows us the images with all the entries we have done in the project editor. So they should be correctly rotated. Additionally also they should fit for each strip. For example if we take here this green little vegetation part, this circle, then it's here in this strip on the bottom part of the image. In the next image it's somewhere in the center and here in this image it's more on top. Which is correct. If the flight of the plane goes this direction, then it continues and it moves further. Between the strips, we also want to check that this tree here, which is on the right side, should be more into the center part. And then if we continue, it's more in the middle. And if we continue, it should be more on the left side. Same thing on the next part. So here on the right side, in this strip, more in the center here in this strip, in the center, and here more on the left side. This is very important to check if these, if the project setup is correct. We should not continue to extract tie points if this setup is not correctly showing us our project. In case you are missing the strip definitions, or perhaps if you have wrong IMU data, then US Master still is very robust to automatically detect the rotations between the images. If you zoom to your complete project, you see that the photo centers are highlighted. If I only select in the photo tab one photo, you see only one photo is highlighted. US Master will only process all the photos that are selected. That means if you select all photos, it will do a tie point extraction over all photos. If you only make a small selection, it will only try to use these photos to do the extraction. If you deselect the selection, then it will still process the whole project. So if, you, if no single image is selected, it's like selecting the complete block. In this demo data set here now, my data is correctly defined. I can start a tie point extraction. I select the US tab, extract, and then I can choose here from different options. Full resolution is recommended when the pixel size from your camera is 6 microns or larger. If you have a pixel size of 4 to 6 microns, we recommend the half resolution. If you have only 2 or 3 micron size, we recommend low resolution. In our case we have 4.75 microns, so I will use the half resolution to extract, which is identical like the default, so default or half resolution will have the same impact. You start the process by hitting this arrow button here on the right side. In case your processing fails, please only select one single strip. So you can go and choose from the edit part on the top of US Master or US Measurement. Select image, then you right click into the top of view or block view. You select here the polygon selection, you click a polygon, 
all projection centers that are inside this polygon here are selected. I double click and we see only this strip here is selected. Please, if the complete project fails, just select one single strip and run the extraction. If this is failing, then something severe is wrong in your project setup. Please go back to project editing and check if the camera was wrong defined or some other values are not correctly defined. I will run the default setup for my complete project and show the result after I stop the video. The type point extraction is finished. We can see here the entry project output is done. We have two green bars, so we can close this part and our type point extraction is done. We can continue now with control point and manual type point measurement, which will be shown in a different uh, video tutorial. So thank you very much for watching this video tutorial.